Happy holidays, guys. Welcome to Man About Cake. I'm your host, Joshua John Russell. And this week, this man is all about holiday cakes. We're gonna make a whimsical winter cake. I'm gonna do a coconut mousse dome with a coconut mousse cake, and we're gonna finish it with a cute winter scene. Let's do it. So we're gonna start by making our mousse dome. Uh, I whipped up a mousse mix here and added a little bit of coconut extract. I whipped it to a medium peak. So this way we avoid air bubbles. So I'm gonna put some into our mold here. It's gonna make like a fun little snowy hill that we'll cover in coconut. It's gonna be so cute. To make sure I get all of my air pockets out, I'm actually gonna take my spatula and wipe the mousse up the side. You guys like coconut? Not really. Not at all? You're gonna like this coconut. He's allergic to nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot, Brandon's allergic to all nuts, even coconuts. All right, so I'm gonna add in one layer of vanilla cake, and then we'll fill the rest with a bag. Same mousse in here. Now we'll freeze this guy overnight, and we'll pop him out, cover him in coconut. To the freezer. For the bottom tier of the cake, I'm using a 10-inch vanilla round. Whoa, she's heavy. I'm just gonna chop her up. That's a lot of garbage cake. Let me turn that into Christmas cake pops. All right, so we're just gonna divide this in half. We're gonna fill the 10-inch round with our same coconut mousse. I'm gonna spread her out. Delicious. All right, put our top on here. Then we'll let her chill, we'll do a crumb coat. It smells like Christmas. All right, now we're gonna do a crumb coat, but I'm just gonna do a little bit of a trim on the side. You gotta leave some space for the cake for it, because you'll use it as a guide. It's very good, Brandon. Hashtag so proud. Now we're gonna give her a crumb coat in vanilla buttercream. What are you guys doing for Christmas? We'll be here in the studio, I assume. We're not taping on Christmas. You guys can film your own episode. All right, now back in the fridge, time for the final coat. Oh, this is mayonnaise. I'm just kidding. Do <laughs> <laughs> you imagine if I was like, oh my God, this is mayonnaise. <laughs> I saw some guys made a meatloaf cake and then they iced it with mashed potatoes. It was like really gross and then I was like, I kind of want to taste it. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to back in the cooler. It should be ready for fondant. Now I'm going to cover our 10 inch cake in white fondant. I'm going to roll it out to an eighth of an inch thickness. Got a couple of little bubbles, like 30 little bubbles. What's happening? Gotta pee those bees. All right, I'm gonna flip the fondant over the cake using my arm. What are all these holiday bubbles for? No, no to you, no to you, no to you twice. All right, we'll trim the excess with an exacto knife. Keep going. <laughs> Not only dogs can hear you. Brandon <laughs> gave me a pretty mean look there. Guys, we add sound effects <laughs> later. <laughs> All right, our cake's covered in fondant, so now we're gonna start on our decorations. Now we're making our whimsical winter scene. So I have these fun cutters here. These are plunger cutters. Cut me out. All right, so I have a little gingerbread house. I have a gingerbread man. We're gonna do two of him. And then I have a little uh, Christmas tree or just, I don't know. Can we say Christmas? We can say Christmas. Okay, an evergreen. It's an evergreen tree that just so happens to have all these colored lights on it that has nothing to do with Santa Claus or Jesus. What's the PC thing? All right, so I have this brown fondant here. It's actually chocolate fondant. I'm just gonna roll it out. So the way these work is you're gonna cut it out, push on this plunger, and then it embosses the little features. There he is! This is James. Now what's your really name? Frank the Tank. Frank the Tank? You're not allowed to name things. And I'm actually gonna cut out the house out of this same color. So there's our gingerbread house. Now we'll cut out another gingerbread man in a different color. It feels like the same color. <laughs> I need to add something to this. Okay. I'm gonna add some white to this because I feel like it's a little bit too much of the same color. That's what I meant. See, no, that's better. Now they're different colors. Okay, now this one's gotta, we gotta, it's gotta be born. The whole nubs. <laughs> Here, just touch your nub to mine up. All right, so the last one I'll cut out is a little tree. So we'll stamp him out, emboss it. There he is. All right, now we'll get these on a pan to dry. And I want the gingerbread men to look like they're actually walking. So I'm gonna prop their little feet up with a marshmallow. <laughs> All right, we'll let these guys dry overnight and then we'll finish them with some royal detail. Come on, kids. Let's make some Christmas trees. I've got some green chocolate here in my bag. This is coating chocolate and it's melted. I'm gonna snip the end off. 
and then we're gonna pipe out some trees and then add some of these little sequins for like Christmas lights. All right, so I'm just gonna start with the top. Oh, there it goes. Whoopsie. Uh, let's redo that. Here we go. Be careful. The bag's uh, a loose cannon. So we're gonna start at the top and just pipe back and forth in a tree-like fashion. Then I'm gonna come back with a paintbrush, make some little tips. And then we're gonna sprinkle our little lights on. We wanna do this before they set, so they stick. All right, now I'm gonna pop these in the fridge to set and then we'll decorate our cake. Now we're gonna add some coconut to our moose stone for a snowy look. It's snow! Doesn't that look like a snowball or like half of a snowball? It does. Okay, thank you. Now let's stack our cake. We'll put our dome on top of our 10 inch round with bubble tea straws. I'm gonna kind of place it towards the back so I have a little bit of room for my gingerbread to walk. They're gonna walk. They might. You, you, don't, you don't know their life. Maybe they're, maybe they're walking to a rave because they decided to skip Christmas. And now I'm gonna play a Christmas song for Brandon. <laughs> I play a mean bubble tea straw. <laughs> I also can play the shoehorn. <laughs> Pretty good. All right, let's put our dome in place. Our little snowy hill. Awesome. All right, now I'm gonna grab my decorations and we'll finish her off. So I start by adding some accents to the cutouts. I use royal and rainbow sprinkles on the house, tree, and gingerbread man. Next, I add coconut to the bottom of the dome, and then I glue the house in place, and then the tree in place. I made a little royal icing pass for the gingerbread men, and then glued them together. I cut into the cake a little bit and add in my chocolate trees. Lastly, I sprinkle coconut around the edge. Our holiday cake is complete. I think she turned out cute as a mug. Thank you guys for joining me on Man About Cake. Don't forget if you want the tools or recipes, you can click the I at the top or you can get them from the description box below. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and please leave me a comment and let me know what you guys wanna see on future episodes. I'm gonna eat. Mmm, that's coconuts.